Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a product empties. I've never done one of these videos, but I have a whole bunch of products right here that I've been using really over the last few years, I would say. I have some hair products, some makeup, so I'm just going to go through everything, kind of give a quick opinion on it and say if I would buy it again or if I wouldn't. So if you like videos about makeup, lifestyle, fashion, I hope you will give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing. So first up, we have this product that I purchased only about two months ago, and that's the Glytone Exfoliating Body Wash. And it's a mixture of BHAs and AHAs. Um, I think actually it's only AHAs now that I'm looking at it. But regardless, it's a really great product for back knee and for your skin to kind of exfoliate those breakouts. I've struggled with back knee over the last few years, and... Basically, nothing works. I get it a lot from sweating during my workouts, and it just happens. I can't really control it. It's not like, oh, you can put on a mattifying primer on your face and you'll be less sweaty. Bagney really doesn't work like that. So I tried this product out from the Derma store, and I really, really liked it. I immediately started seeing results after only using this for about a week. I will say, if you use this every day, I don't think you're supposed to use it every day, but I use it definitely like four to five times a week. If you use it that much, you will run out of it. It's also a little bit hard to pump out of this bottle because the product is very thick. But despite that, I definitely am going to be reordering this product because of how great of results it gave me. Next up, we have the Nexus Frizz Defy Frizz Protection Finishing Mist. You can use this on straight hair or curly hair. It works really well. I've had this product since 2016, and how I remember that is because it, I got this product whenever I was an intern. I had like my first real paycheck, and I bought a bunch of things at Target, and this being one of them, this has served me so well. My hair definitely gets frizzy in the summer when it's very humid out. It doesn't stay straight that well. This helps my hair stay straight and frizz free. It has a really nice smell and it also kind of works as a hairspray to really lock in place your hairstyle. Another hair product I have is the Bedhead Rockaholic Dirty Secret Dry Shampoo. I've had this product since early college. I believe my mom bought it for me like in my Easter basket <laughs> and I've definitely used this on and off. I don't use dry shampoo a ton. I pretty much wash my hair every day otherwise my hair gets very very greasy but if I don't wash my hair I will reach for dry shampoo. Um, this is a really good dry shampoo. I think it's just as good as dry bar any of the high-end ones so um when I run out of dry, my dry bar shampoo, I might repurchase that one or this one. I don't know. Moving on to a lip product. I've also had this for a really long time since college. My mom bought it for me in my Christmas stocking because it was like an Allure Beauty winner of like the best neutral nude lipstick. And that's the L'Oreal 986 Roses. They probably still don't make this exact lipstick since it was so long ago. But yeah, there's just a little bit left in there. And it was more of a peachy pink on me than a neutral. It was an okay lipstick. For the drugstore, it was pretty good, but it didn't last all that long on me. And it was pretty pinky for being a neutral color. So I don't think that I would repurchase this again. I'm just going to pull out my Naked palette just for an honorable mention. I think it's time for it to be retired as it is very dirty and faded. I only hit pan on a few of the shades, even though I've had this palette for like three, four years and I've used it a lot. Um, I would say my favorites were definitely Sidecar. Um, I like almost hit pan on that one as well as Toasted. I really used to like wearing Toasted and Hustle together, and whenever Toasted kind of hit pan, that's whenever I kind of stopped using this palette. I also do like Half Baked for kind of an inner corner or lid shimmer, but yeah, I think it's just time to retire this palette. I don't think I'm going to buy the Naked Reloaded palette. It's just as too similar to a lot of other palettes out there, and I don't think it offers me anything else that I don't already have in a palette. 
Moving on to my Hemp's body lotion. This probably has three or four more uses, but I figured I would mention it in this video. I love Hemp's body lotion. I use it on my hands, on my legs, and it's really moisturizing, and I'm definitely going to be picking up another one of these. We have the Purity by Philosophy face mask. This is a really great mask if you have oily, acne-prone, congested skin where like you just have deep, painful zits. Um, whenever that happens to me, I reach for this mask. This is the travel size version and it lasted me about a year and I used this pretty consistently. I did place an order on Ulta for a new one. Again, I think I probably have a few more uses out of this one, but definitely a great face mask if you have sensitive or acne prone skin. Elf eyeliner was in the bottom of my work bag in the color coffee. I already picked up a new one of these. This definitely lasted me a few months and I still could probably use it but I think it's kind of expired. These eyeliners are great quality for a really affordable price so definitely pick one up. Another skincare product is by The Ordinary, the Azalic Acid. Whenever I used to go to a dermatologist, they recommended for me to use azelaic acid to clear up my acne and acne scarring. And this has worked wonders for me. It's worked just as well as very expensive dermatologist products. And this is only, I think, $750, $780 maybe on The Ordinary's website. Sephora and Ulta also sell this brand, but I don't think you can get the azelaic acid. I know you can't get it at Ulta. I'm not sure if you can at Sephora. But this is just a really great cream to put on overnight to heal any type of scarring you have on your face. Favorite brow product ever. I already brought in, bought a new one of these. The Dirty Blonde Velvet Luxe Brow Pencil from MAC. Basically used up. Um, I love this product. It matches my skin tone really well. It's very easy to use. I love how you can sharpen it and make it really pointy. Overall, great product. I have two lip liners from ColourPop that I've just hung on to because I really like the colors and I wanted to order new ones, but I'm not sure if they still make these colors. Um, this one is Contempo and it's a mauve nude kind of color. And then Lumiere, which is the same color but a little bit more pinky. Basically, these products are beyond use. Um, it looks like they still have some more in them but there's a huge hole in this and I basically cannot sharpen this anymore and the same kind of thing with this one it just kind of fell out and these are basically unusable but these lip liners from Colourpop are very quality they last a long time and I definitely need to pick up some new ones even if I can't get those colors. One of my favorite mascaras the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black I've talked about it before love this mascara it's very affordable. I believe it's $8.99 at the drugstore. And it's just a very dark mascara that doesn't get clumpy. And it definitely lasts a long time. One of my favorite foundations, the Immaculate Liquid Powder Mattifying Foundation from Hourglass. This makes your skin so incredibly matte, so poreless. Your skin just looks so good when you wear this. And it controls your oil production. Like it just controls it all day for like eight hours. So I'm not going to pick up a new one of these because I don't need that kind of crazy oil control anymore, but I definitely credit this foundation for helping clear up my acne. And I think it can finally throw away this bottle with just a little bit left in it. Wet and Wild lipstick, 100% will not repurchase this. This is so drying. This does not last beyond 30 minutes on your lips. Has a weird smell. Totally not worth it, even though it's very cheap. This one was in Nudist Peach, and there's definitely more left in the tube, but I'm just throwing it away because I just really don't like this product. Favorite mascara, MAC False Lashes Extreme. Used this up, already got a new one. Not gonna dwell on that product. I do have a bunch of other mascaras that I've used up and I wanted to save for this kind of video. The Superhero mascara by It Cosmetics. This mascara was pretty good. I liked it. The brush was pretty easy to use, but it still got clumpier than my MAC, and I don't think it lasted as long, so I still prefer the MAC to this mascara, but it's not a bad mascara. 
beach you faced better than sex mascara so thankful i got this in a sample somehow um i think it was with one of their christmas sets hate this mascara i hate the brush and it gets so hard to work with it's such a drying mascara and it just really does not give my lashes the darkness that they need will not be repurchasing this I thought this mascara had so much potential. I bought it on Black Friday. Ulta had a bunch of deals and this was only $10. It's the Smashbox Super Fan Mascara and I did like it the first few times that I used it, but then it just got clumpier than any other mascara that I've ever seen. I know my camera's not gonna pick this up, but it, this is so clumpy. It's just disgusting and I couldn't work with it. Even though it made my lashes very dark, it was easy to use. It was the kind of wand I liked. It's just a very clumpy mascara. And I don't know if there was something defective about this one because it was on sale at Ulta or whatnot. But unfortunately, I do not recommend this mascara. Tarte Maneater. This mascara is pretty good. It definitely gives you the volume that you need. But once again, the brush got kind of clumpy and I thought it was a little bit hard to use and just not super long wearing so it was just a very okay mascara that i probably would not purchase again i have another lipstick from ColourPop, and this is so low and i love this lipstick so much i used the crap out of it it was just this really pretty pink color it lasted so long i wore it all on my chicago trip last year i'm really sad because they don't make this color anymore we also have the Benefit Brow Contour Pro Brow Wiz type thing. And I really did like this one brown shade and I completely used it up. But unfortunately, I didn't use any of the other colors like at all. The deep shade was too deep for me. The highlighter, just not something that I used. So I wouldn't buy this product again, although I did like how easy it was to use and I liked the color of I'm not sure which one it was oh yeah the lighter shade I liked that color a lot used it all but it's just not worth it because it's so expensive you really don't get that much product unless you do crazy defining and highlighting with your brows finally my last product is a Bobbi Brown lip product that I picked up at the makeup outlet store at the Tanger Outlets. And I really like this product. Um, very beautiful color, pretty moisturizing, but unfortunately this product did not last very long. There's hardly anything in this tube. And I did not think it wore that well throughout the day for being such an expensive lip product. I was really glad that I bought mine at the outlet and not at Sephora. I definitely won't be picking up another one of these unless I get a good deal on it at the outlet. Otherwise, I think you can get more affordable lip products with more product in them that last longer for a much cheaper price. So that wraps up my empty products video. If you guys like this, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Let me know what have been some of your favorite products that you've been using recently. Follow me on my socials and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.